Hello, welcome to this episode of Game Worms. I am Bryant Real, and hopefully one day surreal if I can ever get myself knighted. Today I'm going to be talking to you about a board game called Santorini. And if you've never heard of this before, it's a fairly simple game. It's what I would call a gateway game into the board game community. And what I mean by gateway is that a lot of people's mental concept, you know, when you grow up playing board games, you're thinking of things like the game of life, Monopoly, Risk, and stuff like that, which we all played growing up, many of us. Us nerdy folk probably played growing up. But if you go to, like, a board game convention or you hang out with people who are, like, board game aficionados, those don't really even classify as board games. So I guess it would be kind of like if you had a friend who was, like, really into sports, and you're like, oh, hey, we're going to go play, like, tag in the park. I know you're into sports. Do you want to come? And by the technical de definition, uh, tag probably counts as a sport, but that's not what a sports fan is really into. And in the board gaming scene... Uh, it's kind of the same thing. So Monopoly and Life are technically board games, but when somebody's into board games, those aren't the games you're going to see. If you go to a board game convention, you probably won't see them. But Santorini is one that I think is very accessible to people who aren't into the board game scene. Um, it's fairly straightforward, but fairly strategic at the same time. And I've played it with a lot of people who aren't really board gamers, and they all seem to enjoy it. Because it's fairly simple in its rules, and this is my first video, and I'm kind of just learning all the equipment and everything, I uh, thought it would be a good one to start with. Now, unfortunately, because of COVID, um, I cannot have friends over. My building doesn't allow guests at the moment. So my whole plan, part of this whole idea for this, doing a show like this, would be to have some like hilarious banter with friends and things like that. But unfortunately, I'm on my own today. Except for one roommate. Uh, which is Dudley the Dragon, and this is a stuffed dragon that my little sister gave me many, many years ago. It's based on a Canadian children's television show. So he will be playing with me today. He is, you know what, he's, it's kind of weird. He's been a big hit with the ladies over the years. <laughs> more than, a, more, a lot more than I am. But uh, he's actually very witty, very funny. Uh, the only downside to him is that only truly wise people can hear him. But he'll be playing with me today as my opponent. Santorini, let me show you the box cover here, uh, is a game based on this city, the Greek city of Santorini. So you can see uh, it's famous for its its white buildings with the blue domed roofs. And it's, it's a really cute artwork here on this game. All right, and the point of the game is to build buildings and get one of your workers on top of one of those buildings. And if you look down here, I, I really apologize for this picture-in-picture. Picture. I'm not sure how I feel about this as a format, especially since the smaller picture looks really small. But I'm really new to this, and I haven't figured out how to do, like, multi-cam recording yet. So this is what we have for this pilot episode. Now, every player is going to start with two workers, so I'm going to be blue, and Dudley is going to be white. And you have a male and a female character, or worker. And what you're going to do is you're going to build buildings. So there's the first level buildings, and the second level buildings, and the third level buildings, and the domes. And what you want to do is get one of your workers on top of one of these buildings before somebody can dome it. Once it's domed, you can't stand on it. But you win the game once you get one of your people up on the dome. And I'll just kind of do a playthrough with Dudley here to show you how it works. All right, so first thing you need to do is place your people. Oh, no, I'm missing a very important part of the game. This is an asymmetrical game. And what asymmetrical means, if you're new to board gaming, it means that people have different starting abilities, basically. So we're not playing, like in chess, You've more all your pieces move the same, for example. Uh, or checkers, your pieces all move the same. But in this game, each player has a patron, god, or hero. And so in our game, I'm going to be using Apollo. And Dudley will be playing Apollo's twin sister, Artemis. And they have different abilities. So my ability with Apollo 
is that if a character of Dudley's, one of his workers, is in my way, in a place where I can legally move, but it's being blocked by one of Dudley's workers, I can switch places. Dudley will be sponsored by Artemis, and he cannot switch places, but he can move quickly. So normally on your turn, you can only move one space, but Dudley will have the option of moving up to two spaces on his movement. So let's place our workers. I'm not going to worry about too heavy strategy for this. I kind of just want to give you a framework and for how the game works. You see if you like it and, you know, something you want to try and have a basic idea how it works. So you just take turns placing. Uh, the first player, a lot of these games kind of have quirky elements to indicate who is the first player. In this one, I mean, obviously you don't have to follow it, but in this one, they say who the godlike, the most godlike player gets to go first. And I decided that was me. And since I pay the rent and he doesn't, then I pick myself. All right, so we just kind of put ourselves, that's not necessarily a very strategic starting position, but we just put our characters there. All right, so what you do on your turn, since I'm the first person, I have to choose one of my two workers, and that worker is going to move and build. If you cannot choose a worker that can move and build on your turn, you just lose. Not usually, not usually a problem. Okay, so I'm going to choose this one here. And I'm just going to build here. Now normally I wouldn't want to build right next to one of our uh, Dudley's players because they could go up and steal my spot. But Dudley knows that if he does that, I'm just going to trade places with him. So he's going to think, oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to freeze Bryant out of my zone. He's going to move just one space to go here. And he'll build there. Because I can't access that spot. But I need to stay kind of close to him. So he doesn't block me out of his tower. So I'm going to go there. And I have to build. I'm going to actually build here. I'm not too worried about him blocking me out. Because, I can, again, I can always trade spots with him. But he can do something like this. So he's going to move this one up here. Again, he's just going to move one square. And he's going to, and then he's going to build here. So you can build at any height. Like if you're standing next to a tower, you don't have to build on the ground. You can build on top at any height. When you're moving up, you can only move up one step. So what he's done here is he's built this too high. I can't go up there now. It's too high. So I'm going to go. You know what, I'm going to go here, see if I can split these guys up. I don't know if that'll help me at all. All right, Dudley, what do you want to do here? Let's see. Dudley's going to try to freeze me out. Like He's going to do that, and he's going to do this. Now, even though I can trade places with Dudley, he has to be standing in a place where I could legally move in order to do it. I can't trade places with him here because he's too high. That's not a spot I can go to, so I can't trade places with him. So I have to be very careful. I need to watch him because if he gets a third level on there, and I can't dome it, he's going to win. So I'm going to try to stay really close to where he's building. So I'm going to move here. I don't want to build a third level because he'll just walk onto it and win. I'll just build another first level so I can start getting up there. Oh, what would he do here? I don't think he wants me to get up there. So I would say uh, he'll move one person there. Build here. So that keeps me from getting up onto his little stacks. I'm like, I don't really care. I just need to stand around. So if you build a third level, I can put a dome on it. Ooh, he's gonna, ooh, he can't. But he's going to try something bold. He's going to go, he's going to go there, and he'll build here, and I'm like, oh crap, I don't want to let him, I don't want to let him build in this corner where I can't access anything, and then he's going to go here, and build here, oh Dudley, yeah, you're good, you're good man. Ooh, so that's getting out of my range. I think I have to abandon my development over here entirely because 
Ah, see, I have to build, so I'm, I'm going to get this guy over there because they're expanding too quick for me to keep up. So I'm going to move over there. I have to build something, so I'm just going to throw this here. No, because then I don't want to build this here because then she'll just jump up because they can move two. And they can't jump two, but they could jump one up, one up here. Okay. Oh, boy. I think... Oh no. Okay, so they move there to try to block me in the they're gonna to try to trap me in the corner there. But they have to build, so again, just kind of a ah, they don't want to build here where I could build up either. Um Yeah, it's far away. I think they'll be that. Okay. So for me I'm just trying to work my way over somewhere where I can be useful. This is I'm not doing well uh right now. Yeah, I'll go there. And then Dudley will go here, here, here. I think I'm, I think I might be getting, oh no, I'm not hooped. He just screwed up. Now I'm going to go here, build here. And then Dudley's going to go, mm. no. Oh boy. There. And, oh, let me, there. So I have to start running over there to put a dome. Okay, yeah. Oh, I'm going to go there. I'm going to dome it. So I don't have to worry about it. I'm moving faster than I can think, really. Okay. Dudley doesn't want to get anybody trapped in here either. Oh, but he can't block me out here anymore. Okay, one, two. Moving two. Where is he building? He's going to drop another level one down here. And I don't want him to be over there by himself. Oh, I'm going to switch places. Bam, bam. Because I can do that. And then... There. Now he doesn't want me to switch places to go there. He'll go there. There. I'll go there. Oh, oh. Okay, I just had a thought. Now that they're screwing around over there, I can go back over in my corner. Alright, Dudley, your turn. What's up? Uh boy. Oh. Yeah, his speed. Okay, there. Oh, I can block and build here. Um. Oh. And hmm. uh oh, I might like fast forward through a lot of this, <laughs> the slow parts. Okay, what do we got here? I think, you know what, we're just kind of both fumbling around here, me and Dudley. If I'm being honest, we had like a full, <laughs> I filmed a full episode prior to this, where Dudley won, and it was actually like a pretty good game. <laughs> but, but I didn't hit record. And now doing it again, my brain's just fried. Whose turn is it? It's your turn. I'm not really going to bother playing it back. You go ahead and go. Dudley. Um, all right. Well, I can't get too far away. 
Let's go there and there. And I'll go. Oh, oh. Okay, so I'll go here and here. Dudley will have this forces Dudley to jump down so he can put a dome on it. Which means I can then go here and build here. He's going to have to move over here. But I can just do this and build. Oh, I've got it! Hey, okay, I can build here. Oh, no, I don't got it. So I was going to say, this guy, did, this guy that Dudley has down here can't build the dome because he has to move before he builds, and there's nowhere to move that's adjacent to the tower. So he can't move this and then build there, but then I forgot. Oh, yeah, he moves two. So, but what it does, it forces this one to go in and dome it. Oh, this is great. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh no, okay, it's not, not as great as I was hoping. Oh, no, ah, he's just so fast. Oh, I know what to do. So I'll go this, and I'll move this here. And that forces this to build a dome here. And I'll go here. And build here. So uh, Dudley's one character is trapped in the corner uh, because he can't move anywhere to then build. He could go here and build a dome here. Uh, he could build here and go there. I guess there's eventually a way out, but he has to worry about me getting up here. He can't go up there. It's too high because it goes from a first level to a third level. He has to dome it. So he's going to move here. Put a dome here, and this is effectively blocking his other character in, because he has to do that. Um, I'm mean, sure there was a better way to do it. I guess this one could have moved and domed it, but... I mean, there's still a way around, but all I have to do is go like this, and this. He has to dome it, so the only thing he can do is move up here and there, and that blocks him in. So there's only domed towers around him, he can never get out. So that character is just lost, which is a big advantage for me. And it's my turn because I forced him to do that thingamajigger. So now I can go and move here, build a third level here. And as fast as Dudley can run, he can get there. And he can build here, but it doesn't matter. It's too late. All right. So Dudley won the demo game that we forgot to record, but I won the ultimate victory. So there you go. So that's Santorini. Uh, the gameplay can change quite a bit depending on how many players and you know which uh, which gods or heroes you're using. So so it's pretty interesting. There's a lot, even though the rules are very simple. There's a lot of variation to gameplay. Um, and that's all I have for this one. So hopefully, uh, let me know in the comments if there's if you have any issues. <laughs> I'm still working on learning how to use the cameras and microphones and everything. Hopefully this one actually recorded. So I'll see you next time.